Hi, this is Colin Cloud, and this is my term paper presentation. So my paper topic was to talk about uh, water in schools domestically and internationally. Um, first, I'm going to talk about water as a whole. It's one of the most important building blocks for life. Um, when people want to flock to a populated place, uh, especially in uh, older times, they flock to an area that had a lot of water so that they could grow and drink. Um, not every country in the world has access to clean water. Um, even though it's 2017, there are many countries around the world that uh, don't have running water still. Um, and even first world countries don't have uh, open access to drinking water. Uh, here in the United States, uh, there have been many examples of areas that have not had safe uh, drinking water, such as Flint, Michigan. Um, and there are many diseases also spread through the contaminated water. The lack of water inside the U.S. schools here domestically, um, there is a general lack of availability to water inside the schools. Um, there is a lot of uh, high calorie beverages that are offered um, here. You can see on the uh, lower part of the slide that uh, Dr. Patel said that there are high calorie beverages that were still widely available during the 2008 and 9 school year. Around 45% of students could buy a, a beverage other than water, 100% fruit juice, and low fat milk in vending machines. Um, these options are very uh, open and sometimes are offered more uh, readily, or, or not offered more, but are, are more readily available uh, than water. Um, and a big issue inside of older school schools is that there is a failing uh, infrastructure for the water system inside those schools because the infrastructure hasn't been updated uh, in a long time. And because, and that's partly due to schools and districts not having enough money to work on things that may not be as important to them uh, as education. Uh, talk about international. Uh, Internationally, there is a lack of clean drinking uh, water and also uh, just plain running water for uh, students. Um, according to Kate Wegman at the University of Illinois, approximately 1 billion people around the world are affected by the water scarcity epidemic. That's around 1 in 7 people. Um, in uh, certain third world countries, girls are often forced to carry more than 40 pounds of dirty water from sources over four miles away. Now, one thing I do want to point out about that statement is that it's 40 pounds of dirty water. Now, you know, there's if, if it were 40 pounds of clean water, at least the water would be clean, but it's dirty water. It's still contaminated. Um, and these students are forced to use the dirty water to... Uh, to drink and to uh, go to the restroom and uh, these unsafe sanitation practices may cause illness and diseases to develop and spread and some of these diseases include cholera, typhoid, dysentery, and diarrhea. Uh, many of these diseases can often be fatal if the uh, right medical practices aren't used. So there's a few things we can do. Um, Domestically, uh, we can update the failing infrastructure with new pipes and water fountains. Um, this is especially important in older schools where the infrastructure is failing and um, a lot of the technology is starting to uh, go old and uh, there's, a, there's a, a need for new technology in a lot of the schools. Um, also domestically, uh, we need to have schools and districts invest into water testing. Um, Water testing, especially like if they do test, then testing more often, it would create a better, uh, better quality water and also better tasting water so that they could pinpoint exactly what chemicals and minerals are going into their water. Um, and internationally, um, if you have time to volunteer to work with these or with certain organizations, definitely do so. Um, they're always taking, uh, they're always taking volunteers to come help and uh, to to go uh, work in certain countries and uh you know put put new infrastructure into these countries and um yeah if you if you uh, don't have the time to do it uh, just donating money to them also works um they always take money too because there's always a need for uh for uh, money to put into the infrastructure so these are my APA references and thank you very much